This is episode number five in our trail footwork series. If you haven't watched the previous ones, please go back and watch them. Okay, remember what we did in our prior videos? We learned with our pipe how to twist our body or turn our body and really kind of screw it right down into the ground. Then we learned this little exercise with our trail foot, we're turning it. Then we learned how to combine those and learn how to turn by just using the power of our trail foot. Well, now we're gonna do that last drill we were doing with the pipe, only we're gonna do it with a club. So what you're gonna do, is just take a club and we're gonna do this standing up straight. You take the angles out of your golf swing and a lot of things that you thought were complicated turn out to be very simple movements. But so that's why we're doing them standing up straight. Your club, put it in front of you. And remember, you turn your shoulders. Just keep your arms relaxed in this. Turn your shoulders and then you twist your foot. And that's the movement. Now, if you haven't watched my series on how to fold your arms in the backswing, please watch that. It'll clear up a lot of your uh, misconceptions about what your arms do in the backswing. Now, on this move, remember the pipe, we just used our shoulders to turn. When you have your club in your hand, guess what? You just use your shoulders to turn. For goodness sake, please don't try to throw your hands around in the turn and don't try to drag the club around with your hands. The back turn is not an arm or hand movement. Your arms stay in front of your body the whole time. They stay in front of your chest the whole time of the turn. The only thing they do is fold. They come up to this position. They go from here to here. And they feel like you're swinging it, but really you're just folding and unfolding. Like I said, if you haven't seen my video on how to fold your arms in the backswing, please go watch it. It'll clear up a lot of your confusion. So back to this exercise. Just take your hands, you take your club, put it in front of you, make sure your foot is at a right angle, your spikes are dug into the ground, and we're just going to turn our shoulders and twist our foot. Again, that entire move was made on the downswing with the muscles of my right foot. It was made with this motion. I'm doing this motion with my foot. Also remember, you want to roll up on the inside of your foot. You do not want to come up on your toes early. Again. Just put the club in front of you and turn and twist. Now, one of the things you should be feeling with this drill is the feeling that your club is being in arms are being left behind on the swing. I'm sure a lot of you have heard teachers say that and heard players say, yeah, I go on the back swing and when I start my down swing, it feels like my club and arms are being left behind. Well, the way you get that feeling is to start your down swing from the ground up. And if you're doing this one correctly, you'll get that feeling because it's your foot, your trail foot, that's driving the turn. You're going from the ground up. So as you're turning back, the momentum is still carrying your shoulders, your arms and your club back while you're starting to turn your foot in the other direction. So I want you to try to key on and make sure you're getting that feeling. Let's go to the back. Just make sure you're getting that feeling that your arms are being left behind. Now, I know it looks like I'm pausing at the top. I'm not. What's happening is it takes a moment for your foot to overcome that inertia of swinging backwards. So I'm actually not pausing. It looks that way, but I'm not. Anyway, do this drill a hundred times. Remember, keep your foot square. If you get it open, you can't torque your foot into the ground. And if you can't torque your foot into the ground, you can't get any power. 
It really doesn't matter how far your backswing goes. If your foot's not, not torqued well into the ground, then, you're, then when you make your downswing, you're just making a longer downswing, but you're not making a powerful downswing. Power comes from having that foot fully torqued and driven down into the ground and using those ground forces to initiate your swing. Again, do this drill a hundred times, really drill it in, doesn't take that long, and uh, then watch the next video.